Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create this glowing flower illustration in the app IBS Printex. So first I am going to open your UHG canvas and here you can see a reference window. If you don't want this you can simply switch off this and if you want this switch on this and here you can import the reference image that you want to draw or any color palette you wish to use for your illustration here i'm going to import a uh, color palette for my illustration so then i'm going to use the first layer and fill the pen hard brush for drawing the flower uh, basic uh, sketch so now i'm going to draw the sketch so it's like a pattern, uh, we don't have uh, any particular technique or uh, using any basic shapes to draw this. It's going to be a rough uh, draw drawing, like I'm going to draw the petals one by one. Uh, if you don't have any idea how to draw the uh, flower, then you can search on Google or better you can search on uh, Pinterest to get idea about the flower shapes that you want to try. So I usually use Pinterest to search for any reference. Um, so here you can see I just draw the same uh, one flower. Now I'm going to push in it. I just duplicated this flower uh, so that I can make another flower. Isn't it? So simply go to duplicate option and duplicate like this rotate as you wish so i want to do it to be like in the opposite direction but it look almost same so i'm just using the flip horizontally option on the layer menu so now i flip it so it looks a little bit different compared to the another flaw now i'm merging them together in a single layer and continuing the sketch so i'm going to draw the stem leaf and all these things now so uh, our, for our final output this sketch is not uh, going to be visible so you can make changes or you can if you are uh, clear, uh, clear about the uh, shape you are going to draw if you don't want to spend too much time here you can make it simple rough sketch or if you want to be more clear about the uh, floor everything petals you have to concentrate much on this sketch part because this is going to uh, play a major role till the end of the illustration so now my uh, flower drawing is ready now i'm going to create a new layer and keeping this sketch layer at the top and rename it as sketch now for the new layer i am going to rename it as coloring so i am going to draw the basic color everything here and i am reducing the opacity of this flower layer so it is only visible uh, to our eye so i am going to choose this color like almost like a cream white color and our background is also white so it will not be visible especially while recording so for that purpose and if you want to use any white color for illustration just change the background to transparent like this and if you draw now uh, whether it is white color or cream whatever will be visible to you so you will not get confused so uh, if you are using any white color for your illustration try this background uh, transparent background so using the special fill a laser fill tool and just filling the flower shape uh, with this green color now i'm going to do your duplicating process again just duplicated this flower and i'm just flipped it to horizontally and positioning it exactly uh, which is fitting that uh, flower like this you can rotate reface whatever you want you can just do and, and it is okay 
you can fix it just by clicking on the tick green tick okay now it looks correct and it's ready so now i am going to merge these two flower coloring together and for the leaf i am going to use this green color so again moving back to this special layer tool here you can see i merge these two flower uh, layers and now i am doing the same coloring process for the leaf and then for the stem so this process is uh, very easy to follow so it doesn't um, need that much um, explanation so yeah i feel everything here it is without the sketch and now i'm going to fill the background with color so i'm renaming this layer as a background and filling with green color mild some pastel green make sure you use the current layer option in the bucket uh, tool and now i'm going to add details uh, one by one for the flower as well as the leaf so create a layer above this and make it as a clipping layer and now i'm going to use digicolor for this detailing so select the digicolor and using the laser fill tool i'm going to add the details like this so here you can see this is the uh, you know, the outside part of the uh, flower petal. So I'm making it a little bit darker. So wherever you want some darkness, there you have to add these details, like uh, uh, you know, uh, fleets like details, um, pleats, uh, all those things. Well, wherever you need that uh, details, you can. Uh, fill um, make shapes using the uh, laser fill tool like this so don't fill the entire petals so you have to fill like this like a simple strokes with lots of movements lot of uh, lots of curves like this Okay, now it's ready. I'm going to do the same thing for this flower. And yeah, it's ready. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the leaf. So select the leaf color. May choose something darker than that. And then add the detail. This. So this is like a folded leaf, so here it's going to be more darker. So wherever you need some more darkness, just reduce the opacity of the lasso fill tool and then fill this area. So for the stem part, here you can see I'm adding some uh, stem details like this. It it uh, you know add some flavors texture to the stem okay now it's ready i'm going to add some more details see here you can see i just added the details inside the petal so i want to uh, make the uh, petal corners uh, more uh, clear so uh, for that purpose I just created another layer and here you can see I'm adding the details like this more concentrating on the uh, corners of the petal so that the uh, so that we can uh, understand where is the petal where is uh, uh, the uh, line between two petals all those things So it's like a process of adding the base color, lighter color first and then moving uh, step by step to the darker colors like shadows, all those things. 
So now I'm going to do the same details for this petal, also for the another flower. So here you can see how these uh, simple lines, line details, uh, really uh, help us to add some you know, clear idea about how our flower looks so if you don't uh, fill with such dark shade it will be like a blank one you can't understand much about the flower shape or petal shape anything like this and now i'm going to do the same thing for the under flower yeah here it is and also I'm going to add the same color details for the leaves. So I'm choosing some more darker shade of the green and adding details like this. Here you can see there is a folded part. Here you can uh, just reduce the opacity of the uh, laser fill tool and uh, add darkness to that folded area like this. Then I'm going to rename these two layers as detail 1 and detail 2 layer. This is how it looks. Now I'm going to add some glow and shadow details. To create some glow to this art, just create a layer, put a layer for the flower and then make the blending mode of that layer as add. And I'm going to use the add brush normal and some yellowish color. I'm going to add some yellowish blue to the leaves. Like this, you can either keep the layer at the bottom of the details layer or at the top. And now you can see the layer is at the bottom of the details layer. So the details are more um, uh, visible. So if you want, if you don't want to that uh, to be in that way, then you can move the layer to the top. Now you can see the difference, how the position of the layers uh, really matters. So I'm going to add all the um, glow details one by one for the leaves and then for the flower. So uh, this is going to be some glowing flower. So I'm going to add the same color, uh, same bloom details to the corners of the petals because already we have some darker shades at the corner. Using these glow effects at the darker part uh, are more visible compared to using them at the lighter part. If you're using in the center of the petal, it's not going to be visible because already the center part is, uh, you know, the petal is of lighter color. If you add more lighter, the details will not be uh, clear. So now I'm going to add some darker shadow details. So I just created the linear burn blending mode layer, open layer, uh, uh, below all the details layer, and adding some darker shades of BG. I'm just using the same airbrush normal to add shades like this if you want to add some bends uh, turns twist for this three petals you can uh, add using the uh, shadow details now i'm going to add the same thing for the leaves as well adding some darker shades it. Now going back to the glow layer, I forgot to add the glow details for the stem, so I'm adding it now. So if you want the anything, not only the flower, but also any uh, object, you want them to be a glowy one, you can add some shadow, uh, glowing uh, lighter uh, shades at the corners like this and now i just going to make the background darker so i'm using linear burn burning mode layer 
I'm choosing the same background color, but the blending mode is different, so it looks it gives a different darker shade. Now I just try out the blending mode layers, blending mode for this layer, but Harley Burn is working better. Okay, now I added the darkness to play you can um, change the uh, amount of darkness just by changing the opacity of the layer and I want the pattern to be little bit glowy uh, behind the flower so I'm using the same airbrush but the blending mode of the layer is add so in this add blending mode layer I'm adding some glowness using the green color so Moving back to the uh, details, glow details for the floor, I'm going to add some glow to the uh, uh, stem, everything, just by adding some light, you know, lighter strokes at the corners. You can see uh, the difference is really visible. So uh, I am adding this glow details only to the corners, not adding anything at the center of any little floor or leaf anything. By doing this, you will really see the difference how our flower or any object glows. Like this, and it's almost ready. So hope you like this, if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, tag me your recreation in my Instagram uh, page, uh, the account uh, link is given uh, in my about section, so thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel.